Hi everyone, today I'm gonna make bánh ít nhân dừa. It's a sticky rice dumplings with sweet coconut fillings. I have two other recipes on the savory versions of this dumpling on my channel. So if you like it, you can check out my bánh ít gói lá and bánh ít trong recipe. So today let's make the sweet version of this. Let's begin. Helen's recipes. To make the dough, you're gonna need 250 grams of glutinous rice flour. It's also called sticky rice flour or mochiko. Mix with some salt and two tablespoons of sugar. Then make a well in the center and pour in 200 ml uh, warm water at around 80 degrees Celsius or 180 Fahrenheit. And then you're gonna knead with your hands until the dough come together and form into a nice smooth dough. For US measurements of the ingredients, please look in the info box below. It's very important that you use warm water to make the dough. And please only use glutinous rice flour for this recipe. Plain rice flour will not work. Okay, when the dough comes together, you cover with a piece of plastic wrap and let it rest for about an hour. Tear banana leaf into large pieces around 20 cm wide and then uh, blanch in boiling hot water to sterilize and also to make it easier to work with. Then wipe it dry with paper towel. Heat about a tablespoon of vegetable oil in a pan and pour in about 100 grams of grated coconut together with 50 grams of brown sugar. Stir constantly over low heat until the sugar is melted and the coconut flakes turn quite sticky. If you use dry coconut flakes, you can add about 1 or 2 tablespoons of water. When it looks like wet sand, you can add a pinch of salt and about a quarter cup of roasted sesame and crushed peanuts. Mix until well combined and set aside to cool. Now pinch a piece of dough about 1 tablespoon amount, make it into a ball and then flatten it out into a thin disc. Scoop about a teaspoon of the filling and place in the center, then pinch the edge together and then shape it nicely into a round ball. Place a piece of banana leaf on a flat surface with the dark side facing down, then fold as strong and grease uh, the surface with a little bit of uh, vegetable oil to prevent sticking. Then make it into a cone shape and place a dumpling into the center. Then fold to seal it completely, making sure that there's no holes so the water can penetrate into the dumpling. Then you have little dumplings in conical shapes. Steam the dumplings for about 15 to 20 minutes and it's done. Let it cool and unwrap to review the sticky, glutinous dumpling. The filling is pretty sweet and it has the nastiness and fragrance of the sesame, peanuts and coconuts. I hope you're gonna give it a try and please click like if you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Bye bye!